Hey, so I just wanted to show you guys how unglamorous my lifestyle is right now. I, I've been looking at apartments all night. Anyway, I'm eating a wrap at midnight. I found two potential apartments that I can go check out. I'm gonna message them and ask them what the Wi-Fi speeds are or if the Wi-Fi is even included. One of them is a high-rise building, which is like, be a nice view. It's about an hour walk from the beach, but it's unfurnished, so I'd have to buy everything. And the other place is furnished, and it's really nice. It apparently gets sun all day round, because it's got a west and easterly windows, and it's in the center of the city for the same price. So both amazing. I'm, I'm gonna keep looking tomorrow. This is what I get up to. I'm in, I'm in a little den that I've made here in the back of my car. It's very uncomfortable. uncomfortable. I just really wanted an apartment already. I'm tired of sleeping in this car. <laughs> It's only been a week in this car, but it's like, it's it's too much. I'm a long boy. <laughs> I shouldn't be squished in a car which is like four foot long. been updating very much because it's been kind of just overwhelming being in a city now full of people full of noises smells like it's all new to me because I've moved from well my house in Wales on a mountain surrounded by sheep to now being surrounded by people again and it's just it's a bit overwhelming I'm getting used to it slowly I'm also adapting to the temperature it's obviously very warm here I went to look at a property yesterday didn't vlog it but it, it was a really nice property Problem was, they advertised it as 500 euros, so I was expecting to pay 500 euros plus deposit of 500 euros. But then when I got there, there was an estate agent, which means he takes 500 as well. And then they didn't like my line of work because it was income coming from outside of Spain. So they wanted me to put two months deposit up front. So if I went for that property, it would have cost me 2,000 euros yesterday, which is too much. Spent the whole day just kind of walking around, exploring the city, trying to trying to get my bearings. I walked 36 kilometers yesterday, which is ridiculous, uh, but it's just how I get my bearings, like how I get the mental map of where I am in my, my mind. I'm parked here by the beach, so I, I know how to get back to my car easily enough. So there's a local that lives here, um, GB, who I've been talking to on Instagram, 
and they have helped me massively by translating things, calling people for me. Uh, they said to try Airbnb, so that's what I've been doing this morning, and I found a place, and it has fiber, fiber internet, which is something I've never had in my life, which is the whole reason I came out here to get faster internet and sunlight. And yeah, it's not that expensive. It would cost me 668 pounds GPP, which is not that bad. It's about 20 pounds a day to live there. And it's amazing. Uh, if the dates are available from today, then I can have that place for a month. And we're just talking back and forth now. And hopefully, hopefully it's available today so I can just move straight in. She said, sure, I can send you a special offer from today. <sighs> wow. So is that it? Oh, wait, is it done? I think I've just got a place. <laughs> just to kind of get used to the city and learn the place, I need to just get somewhere ASAP. Because the longer I'm spending living in my car, I've been in my car for now for 11 days. And the longer I stay in here, the more money I'm losing because I'm not able to post anything. Uh, all I have is my, is my phone. So so yeah, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet, spend a bit more money than I want. It's about double what I wanted to spend, but I think just for the first month, it's okay. Just so I can kind of get used to this place. And essentially it is cheaper because I'm not, pay I'm not paying a deposit for Airbnb. Otherwise I'll be spending about a thousand euros minimum just to get a place. And the place I was looking at yesterday didn't even have bills included, didn't have internet set up. This would have everything, so I think I just gotta go for it. I'm really loving this place and I'll vlog some more soon, but I just need to get that update out of the way. It's noon on Tuesday, December 29th. Valencia, Spain. This is where I'm at. So this is the situation. This is my place. I'm kind of happy with my decision. I needed to do it, but I'm also unhappy with how much money I spent. It's quite unsettling spending money, I guess, especially large amounts. But anyway, yeah, we're here. We're in Airbnb for now, for the month. I've got pretty much all my stuff here. It's really hard to park around here, so I spent so much time just going in circles. I just found a spot around the corner, which is awesome. I don't know if I'm allowed to park there, but it's there. Well, let's move in, let's like get set up. It's strange because this isn't my place, so I can't do anything to it. I know that I have to pack everything away again when I leave, so it's just, that's what's been bothering me all day. But I just have this now, because I'm tired of living in my car. I need to sleep like this again, straight. I've been sleeping like that for like 11 days, and it's, it's exhausting, so. And I need to eat. I haven't had a proper meal since I've moved into the car. Okay, so. This is basically just all my stuff uh, for now. Uh, I'm just gonna set it all up. This will be my desk, I guess, and then I'll show you the bedroom over here. So this is the bedroom, balcony onto the street, bathroom, shower. Pretty awesome. Yeah, normal, normal stuff. It's all, it's all, it's all very nice, but it's not mine. You know, it's not mine, and that's what's kind of bothering me because I want my own place.
So that's what I got up to the first couple days I was here in Valencia. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm, I've now been in this space for a week. I'm getting used to the city and being surrounded by people. Uh, there's a coffee shop below my bed, so in the morning they wake me up really early. So I want to get back into daily vlogging. I'm now caught up with all my footage. The only issue is the internet here is not as fast as they said it was. It takes me about 10 hours to upload a video. What I'll have to do is edit my daily vlog, upload it overnight, and then you guys will get it in the morning. So I used to upload and then post the same day. It's now going to be the next morning. So we'll see how long that works. I mean, I tried to do that today. My laptop turned off for no reason. And then I tried it again. And then the internet crashed like four times. And then I tried it again and Google Chrome crashed. So there's so many, so many variables, so many things keep happening and trying to stop me from posting. When I get my own place, I'll have 150 megabytes up, 150 megabytes down. There's a provider here that does that, so that'll be the fastest internet I've ever had. That's my goal in life, is to have fast internet. I've never had fast internet in my whole life. That's my dream. That's kind of why I moved to a city to try and get faster internet, because my place in Wales could not have fast internet. I'll bring you guys with me tomorrow on whatever we get up to, uh, show you like an honest view of my life. Hopefully you do something interesting. And uh, yeah, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye.